It's been seven years since Manchester United have won the Premier League title and we are one game away from winning it. Oh, we've also got an FA Cup final against Liverpool to play today. So there has been two Premier League fixtures since the last time we met, the first of which was a 5-0 home win against Crystal Palace. Rashford, Martial, Dan James, Rashford, Van der Beek absolutely dominated them. And in the second game, we won 5-0 once again, this time away from home against Leicester City. Kingsley Corman, on his return from injury, got a brace. Marcus Rashford, Fernandez, and Van der Beek with the others. That's been one bad thing that's happened since the last time we met. Anthony Martial is injured for the rest of this season, which was gotten but perfectly timed. Kingsley Corman came back into fitness, so we're not struggling too badly. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We are four points clear from second to place Liverpool. We have two games in hand. We have Fulham today. And if we win, we are Premier League champions. Now, I'll not lie to you. I got a little bit carried away because the plan for the day was to play Fulham and... <laughs> I'm playing Fulham twice. Fulham and Liverpool in the FA Cup final. But the other Fulham, the one after the FA Cup final, um, I didn't quite realise Liverpool had slipped up in the Premier League and allowed us the opportunity to be able to win the Premier League today. So I'm already in the match. We haven't properly kicked off yet. It's 14 seconds in before I realised that I needed to start the recording now. So we'll just get into the game and I'll show you the lineup when it shows up. We might actually have a highlight here, a proper highlight. Basically, it's a full strength squad, but Dan James has came in on that left-hand side in place of Anthony Martial's injury. Uh, Kingsley Coleman starts on the bench. He's still trying to regain full fitness as Dan James bounces through the box. Dan, Dan James scored 17 goals for me this season. He hasn't even been a starter. Another highlight now, Bruno Fernandes with... I mean, Harry Maguire scored 10 goals this season. Basically all from corners. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Fulham nil, Manchester United 2. The Premier League is coming back to Manchester. And I know it went to City, but I mean the United half of Manchester. Another highlight now, 23 minutes in Pogba. Picks up the ball in the centre. The overlap from Tellers is brilliant, but we'll go for James instead. Oh, Dan James. Should be burying that. Ariola with a fantastic save for Fulham. Another highlight now. 30 minutes gone. It's been all us so far in this game. I thought there might have been a little bit of a counter-attack and opportunity for Fulham, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be that way. Lovely little link-up play down that left-hand side. Luke Shaw's starting. I forgot about that. Um, I think Alex Tellers is struggling for fitness. Dan James. Back to Luke Shaw. Benton Kerr on the edge of the box and he goes over. Corner just before half time. It's played in by Fernandez and cleared by the Fulham defence. Greenwood is going to be the first man to it. Can Fernandez play back in? No. He goes all the way back to Benton Kerr. Nice play down the right hand side. Hake uh, Hakimi getting involved in the attack and player. Come on, referee. That's a penalty. VR is checking the penalty. Come on. We know it was. Penalty has been awarded. Bruno Fernandez probably going to be his last kick of the game. I'm going to get him off after this. Uh, can he get us 3-0 before half-time? He certainly can. He seems to go down the right a lot. Uh, take note, opposition goalkeepers. His 13th goal of the season, 3-0. So starting the second half, uh, Bruno Fernandes has went off. Donny van der Beek has come on in attack and midfield. We have a highlight pretty much straight away. 47 minutes in, Hakimi whips the ball in. Edinson Cavani is there, starting up top as Rashford. Uh, did I? I must have rotated this side. Ready for the FA Cup final. I've completely lost my bearings. I have no idea who we're playing. Uh, Hikimi doing very well down the right. Excellent cross. I think he's crossing like 17, which is one of the main reasons why I signed him. And he gets an assist for Didier Cavani with his 28th of the season. 4-0. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Van der Beek with a free kick in. Luis Felipe, I believe, got his head on it, but just over. Only 20 minutes left on the clock. We have ourselves another corner. It's cleared by Le Marchand. At the back for Fulham, it's played back in. Ariola with a save. We are actually going to get uh, Mason Greenwood off the pitch. We'll get Kingsley Coleman on. Look to improve his fitness for the final 20 minutes or so. I think he's going to... Do I start Dan James in the FA Cup final or Kingsley Coleman? I'm not too sure yet. Um, we'll have to wait and see. And that's Fulham come forward. Reed's overlapped and Harrison Reed gets his second goal of the season. A decent goal for Fulham. But it uh, does seem like a little... Uh, too little too late. And with five minutes left, we will make our final change of the game. Axel Tuanzabi, who I haven't played all that often, is coming on in defensive midfield for um, Rodrigo Bentenker, looking to keep him fit and sharp for the FA Cup final. As Asamoah brings the ball down the left-hand side for Fulham, he's held up by Hakimi. Oh, well, lads, he's just standing having a chat. and goes out for a corner. 
And there we have it, boys. Two minutes remain from lifting the Premier League title. I haven't actually seen it on FM21, how it shows you it on the pitch. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same as FM20, but I'm excited to see it. Fulham, are they going to get another one? Mitrovic goes just wide. Dan James comes down at the left-hand side for us. Fine. I mean, dodgy little pass back to Luke Shaw. I'm not sure who to blame there. Uh, maybe they should both take a share of it. Luke Shaw continues his run, though, and gets dispossessed. There's only 40 seconds left, so I'm not even sure if this is a highlight or FM uh, goodness why they're just showing you because it's the end of the game. Mitrovic bombing forward down the centre for Fulham. He's in behind Kamara. Lovely little through ball by Nokiart. And Fulham could have had a couple of goals today. Full time. Oh, it was shown as the celebrations. Now it's went off. Oh, now that is disappointing. <laughs> Never mind. Fulham 1, Manchester United 4. Oh, it's went off again. I clicked the button. Well, that was anticlimactic. There we are. You can see us bombing about there. It is different from uh, last time. You can see the confetti coming down now. Manchester United have regained the Premier League title after seven years. And you can't say fairer than that for your first season in charge. We've got the FA Cup coming up next. We've got the Champions League final coming up in the next episode. It has been an absolutely phenomenal season in charge of Man United. So we've fixed your schedules really piling up and it's costing us quite, pretty dearly in terms of the condition of the players. I need to start Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba in this game even though they both need a rest. They can have a rest after, as long as we win. <laughs> Rashford goes up top. Dan James comes in on the right-hand side with Kingsley Coleman coming in on the left-hand side. Benton Kerr, Alex Tellez. Oh, do we start him? I think we should. We need Luke Shaw on the bench, though. Oh, we're going to come out with a couple of injuries here. We're starting uh, Harry Maguire as well at centre-back over Axel Tawanzabi. And he's dropped Hakimi as well. We are definitely coming out of this with some injuries. Hakimi, Felipe, Maguire and Benton Kerr all struggling. A lot of heavies in there. There's only Kingsley Coleman who's on <laughs> light uh, match conditioning. We'll wait and see how this goes. This could be a disaster. Um, FA Cup final. We should have maybe rotated even more for, for that Fulham game. But it um, looks like they're playing pretty much a full strength side. They've had a little bit more rest than we have. Come on. If we beat Liverpool, there's a chance for the treble. Come on. Come on, boys. Get us over the line. And I are struggling. I know it's hard. But one more game and I'll give you a rest in the next game. We've got Fulham at home in the Premier League. I'll be able to rest the vast majority of the boys who are struggling out there. But we just need a win today. Dan James. Ooh, wasn't a greatest pass by. It was a Benton Kerr and Liverpool are in behind Thiago. A good save by David De Gea. We'll stick with this corner though. Mo Salah plays it in. Luis Felipe rises high. And we do manage to get rid. Oh, Liverpool are on the attack again. This time 11 minutes in. We get the ball clear though. And Bruno Fernandes is going to be the first man to that loose ball. And he sets away Marcus Rashford. He's got a lot of work to do from this sort of angle. Great challenge by Virgil. Van Dyke. We do end up regaining possession, then giving it away sloppily to Andy Robertson, who can set away Sadio Mane down that right hand side. He gets it inside to Firmino. Oh, he's in a perfect position for the strike. David De Gea is keeping us in this corner for Liverpool. Thiago to play it in. Luis Felipe is there again, but he only gets more Salah this time. It's played back in. Fabinho. Right, time to change something. There's a highlight going on because I was making tactical changes, so I'm not sure if it's a highlight. Or actually something uh, something completely meaningless. It looks like it is a highlight. More Salah. He's in behind. David De Gea saves. Come on, David. Right, so our tactical changes have came into play now. It's been all Liverpool this first 25 minutes. With only De Gea being the difference maker for us. It looks like we've neutralised them a little bit for the, for the next 10 minutes or so. We haven't really created anything ourselves. But nil-nil at half-time after the way that first half has gone will do me just fine. I am not going to tell the boys I am happy. Continue on. Um, no changes just yet. First highlight of the second half. Thankfully, Liverpool give the ball away from the throne. Kingsley Coleman's pass, though, is very poor. There's no way Rashford is competing with Van Dijk in the air. Hakimi, though, with the ball over the top, down that right-hand side. Rashford can run onto it. He's got absolutely zero support. Don't shoot. Don't shoot from there, man. Looking at a couple of our boys. We're going to have to make some subs. They haven't been the difference makers today. wan can come on for Hakimi. Bruno Fernandes is going to have to come off for Donny van den Beek. Uh, Beek, whatever his name is. Scott McTominay for Paul Pogba. Do we do that? We'll get off Alex Tellez for Luke Shaw. 
and we need to keep our fullbacks fit. If we get an injury from this point on, we are absolutely snookered. Um, but the changes have got to be made. The fullbacks are particularly needed. Divock Origi's just came on that left-hand side for Mania. Uh, they've still got Salah on the pitch though, so we need fresh legs to be able to compete on them wing spots. But here we are, coming down the left-hand side with Liverpool. Andy Robertson has been stopped and he's given the ball away. Benton Kerr sets it away for Marcus Rashford. He's got a lot of work to do. He's not at the races today, is he? Corner for us, Luke Shaw to play it in. Oh, I was, I was hoping for a Harry Maguire special. Kingsley Coleman picks it up. Van der Beek, come on, Kingsley. Be the difference maker. You're the only one with fresh legs. Ah, oh, it's not good enough. Ah, oh, it's going to turn out to be a Liverpool counter-attack. James Milner. Oh, thank God we got the challenge in there. Kingsley Corman cuts inside, tries to find Dan James, and it's a poor pass. Genie Wijnaldum driving through the centre of the park. <laughs> Terrible strike. Time is just ticking away. Do we go to extra time? We do go to extra time. Do we get an extra sub? So Paul Pogba is on his feet out there. We're going to get Scott McTominay on if it lets us. It does. McTominay, can you be the difference maker in extra time? <laughs> Let's wait and see. Ah, oh, why were our boys so, so tired? Thiago with a corner for Liverpool. Ah, oh, Divock Origi gives them the lead. This is going to be devastating loss. And it's all my fault. Squad management wasn't perfect. Luke Shaw with a corner. Harry Maguire. Oh, is it, is it a penalty? Did that hit a hand? Come on, please. It, it hit a hand. I saw it. VAR is checking. Come on. Come on. Penalty's been awarded. Get in there. Who is the man that steps up? Marcus Rashford. He hasn't had his greatest game in a Manchester United shirt, but he could certainly make up for it. He does make up for it. Come on. <laughs> Listen, I'd take penalties right now. I'm, I'm not confident in our ability to be able to score from open play. So I will take penalties right now. Oh, oh, we have a throw in. Oh, they get rid of Jordan Henderson. Thankfully, it looks like we're going to keep possession and maybe, maybe mount an attack ourselves. Benton Kerr plays it into Marcus Rashford. What a save, Alisson. Are you kidding me? Luke Shaw with the corner. Origi clears. Time is just ticking away in this game. I think it's going to go to penalties, boys. Neither side look like they're going to uh, end up taking it. Oh, oh. Hold on a minute. Kingsley Coleman with a free kick. It's played in. It's bobbling about in the box. Harry Maguire. He scores from not a corner. He's 11th goal of the season in what must be one of the final kicks of the game. Just blow the full-time whistle, please. Blow the full-time whistle. Very defensive. Very defensive. Panic, panic, panic. Last minute. We are getting away with this one, lads. Liverpool 1. Manchester United 2. And I think we've won the FA Cup alongside the Premier League. You say the... At least we can get to say this one. We didn't say the Premier League one. Oh my god, that was a shocking game. We did not play well at all. Whether we deserved it or not doesn't really matter right now because we've won. We've done the double. There's one more trophy. One more trophy on this line. Outstretched arms. Congratulations, boys. Oh, what a game. How have we done it? Liverpool won. Manchester United two. We've got an injury to Van der Beek. That's not so bad. I was expecting more from that. Harry Maguire turns out to be the difference maker. He's finishing eight. <laughs> but we don't care. Looking forward to the next episode. We've got three Premier League games. The only thing we're playing for is to retain our unbeaten record. And if we win all three, we'll end up with 102 points for the season, which will be absolutely magnificent. But I'm not too bothered about that. What we are bothered about is Real Madrid in the Champions League final. I hope, boys, I will see you there. And if you've ever left a like on my video, please consider leaving a like on this one. Get yourself subscribed so you don't miss the next episode. And until next time, take it easy.